Hello. Hello. I'm jumping on here. I'm going to ponder with you guys what we're pondering in the inner circle and see if it resonates with you as we end our May month, which is sensuality and creativity. I'm getting ready to go to a play. And so I'm excited about, you know, seeing other people be really creative. It just stimulates those creative nerves and genes. You know what I mean? I'm encouraging you also to get out there and appreciate some art, whether it's visual art, nature art, music, um, whatever it is for you that really turns you on, go do it, do it right? Open yourself into those portals. We've discussed this month that the idea of being in our senses and being in our creative arts is the way we feel most alive. If we're not being sensual and we're not being creative, I always feel like it's almost like we're dead in a way. So I'm encouraging you to do that, to get out there and do something, create something new, um, show up for uh, others who are creating something new and really celebrate your senses today as we finish up May. <clears throat> If you're interested in joining us, we are moving into the healthy habit of relationships. We're going to be looking at how to have healthy relationships. What is true love? What is showing up for yourself in true love versus and with someone else? And just really exploring whether it's a troubled relationship with a friend or a child or a spouse um, or yourself, we're going to be looking at what are some tools we can bring in. So it's a great month. Then we move into healthy movement. And then in August, we move into healthy silence where we focus on a little bit more meditation. Okay. So get outside, go appreciate your senses, your sensuality and your art. And I will see you next time. All right. Deep bows. I hope this work is of benefit to you. Namaste.